post second world war we have never had peace being challenged so much as it is being challenged at the current moment you have wars you have got challenges going on around the world and peace is definitely is being tested and at this time when the threat of nuclear war is so high the word nuclear taboo seems to be losing its significance we have norwegian nobel committee has decided to commit to the peace and announce their nobel peace prize this year especially going to hidankyo or nihon hidankyo which is a japanese confederation of anh bomb suffers organization in fact uh, this nuclear technology is uh, getting widespread and is getting in the hands of the people who may not be as responsible nation as we have had in the past and at that time this organization nihon hidankyo set up in 1956 becomes very significant because they have been since 1956 their inception they have been the voice of uh, hibakusha hibakusha basically is a group of people who survived the the nuclear bombs and this hibakusha is a japanese word for uh, uh, persons who have been explosion affected 120000 hibakusha lost their lives and probably equal number of them were affected today as per the estimates that we have got hibakusha number is uh, as per the estimate that one can imagine is uh, 106825 the estimates in different sources are different numbers that you have got and their number is constantly going down because of the age that they are very old people now this organization uh nihon hidankyo is trying to generate awareness about this people's plight and they have been constantly working towards generating awareness with respect to the people and the kind of uh, suffering that they have gone through and they have been regularly sending their representatives in the united nation and the places and then letting people know about the kind of uh, survivor stories that they have to tell and keeping alive the nuclear taboo while this nobel peace prize coming to them it's a kind of commitment that nobel committee has shown towards their nuclear disarmament peace and then also reminding the world the kind of challenges they, they the world has faced all this period and 1945 2025 is going to be anyway a watershed year 80 years getting completed one has to be holding this nuclear taboo and ensure if the technology that may have gone into the hands of slightly less responsible people they are in no position to misuse it and take the planet again for a bombing of that nature because probably this planet in the current situation may not be able to sustain because this is not one or two countries which has got this technology it is available to many many people and then that can be real scary part of it all these people hidank you has been always trying to generate awareness amongst the people and then all those people who have survived they have a lot of stories to tell and then this nobel peace prize coming to them is a commitment the world has shown in the form of nobel peace prize towards nuclear no use or nuclear taboo so to say